Congratulations, the Curse of Wolf Mountain. You're in the lead role. Yes, yes, I am. And I wrote it and produced it with a great team, and uh, we're so excited for people to see it tonight. So tell us where the original idea came from, because I actually thought it was a horror. Well, I mean, it's a thriller. Yeah, it's a horror thriller. So the original idea, so what happened was um, I had assembled a team with David, and we were gearing up to shoot another movie, and everything fell apart. And I was down in the dumps, and so was David. And we were on the phone and just really feeling it, and got off the phone, and just, there was just some sort of fire in me. I went to my desk, I sat down, I wrote a hundred pages in about a week, uh, and we were on set two months later. So <laughs> it was a crazy experience, because I never had such a deadline like that, but we met it, and it was a great experience. The cast was awesome, the crew was awesome, the producing team, the director, uh, and we just had a great time. So who's, whose idea was it to do it outdoors? Uh, <laughs> the script just called for outdoors, so, <laughs> you know, we, we didn't really have a choice there. But um, Carlos's ranch over in Santa Clarita, they did such a great job having us there. So go check out his ranch in, uh, in Santa Clarita. In Santa Clarita. Um, but, yeah, we had a great time over there. How was it uh, running all over the place? I mean, you, you didn't seem like the outdoorsy type. <laughs> yeah, the character had, you know, never really gone camping before, and uh, apparently that, you know, that was a central part of the of the story to be out there and and uh, and discover. You know, I'm not I'm not going to give anything away, but uh, but yeah, it was a central part of the story to be outside and and uh, and camp out there. But it was a lot of fun to do that. So, what was the challenges for you this time around? I mean. You, you are like, what, 60, 70 percent of the movie? <laughs> Thank you. No, um, I'd say the challenges leading up were incredible because, like I said, I never had a deadline like this before. So I had to make sure that I had the writing down and, uh, and that was consuming me. So I couldn't really prep for the character as much because I was writing the movie, but I think it just kind of came naturally because, you know, I, I was writing it so I knew the character inside out and all, all of it kind of worked out. Um, and then we had the producing side too, which was crazy. So everything together was nuts. Um, and this isn't the, I had another movie where I was the producer, the writer, and the lead actor called Murder at Hollow Creek as well, uh, which I did with David and that's gonna be coming out hopefully later this year. Um, but both experiences were, were awesome, but completely different. Uh, yeah, but we had a great time on this one. It's funny. It sounds like you're not tired of David after all this time. Oh, no. He's one of my best friends, and we love working together. Uh, we have a great rapport, and everything runs smoothly. Thank God. I mean, you never know. Like, you could partner up with somebody, and it could just tank, right? And everything on set just goes wrong, but we have a great rapport together on set, and everything runs smoothly. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Well, Kelly, before I let you go, which hat you love the best, writer, producer, or actor? Which hat do I like the best, writer, producer, or actor? That's such a tough one. Um, over at our company, Price Productions, it's what we do. We produce movies, and uh, we've got a new slate coming out this year, and we've got a, a, a movie coming up with Emil Hirsch, and we've got a movie coming up with Josh Duhamel, um, and we've got Hellfire coming out. We've got Murder at Hollow Creek coming out. We've got Wolf Mountain tonight. We had Hunt Club. So we've got tons of products, and, uh, and we're so excited and, and happy to bring these stories to the forefront. But... Um, yeah, to answer the question, I I can't really choose one because they each fulfill a different part of me. When I'm on set as an actor, like I'm a I'm a recurring role on Rap Shit right now on HBO, and when I'm on set there, it's uh, it's unexplainable. I just have such a great time with the cast and crew, um, and I don't have to worry about anything uh, of us making the day or things going smoothly. So it's a different experience. But there's something about writing a movie and coming up with the idea and kind of seeing it all fall into place and knowing that if you didn't go and write it, none of it would have happened. I think that's a really special thing. Well, that's excellent. And hopefully uh, you send me an invite to the next one. <laughs> You'll always be there, man. <laughs> You'll always be there. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Three, two, one.